would you guys feel if your boyfriends go with you to the doctors? Uh, Good. Would you feel I, I like think it's really uncomfortable? I, or? <laughs> I mean, like, I probably would feel uncomfortable having my boyfriend next to my doctor, but it wouldn't be a big deal for me at all if my boyfriend asked me to go to the doctor, but I wouldn't, like, take him with me. Like, well, what about if he I don't need somebody that holds my hand if I go to the doctor, no. I think that's, like, really cool if somebody, like, if, if boys just are interested in contraception in general, because I have the feeling that they often just put it off to the girl and just... Mm -hmm. You know, don't really care about it. Like, I mean, depends. It's cool. not well, with true something, at all. It's well, not just because you like. Yeah, but there's something <laughs> like the pill, which is you know really reliable, and then you know that's just on the girl to take that every day. Yeah. So how do I take the pill to make sure that it's reliable? The, the whole point about the pill is it won't work if you don't remember to take it. So I think it's good to get into a routine and try and take it at the same time every day. My friends used to set alarms. Um, on their on their yeah. cell phones a lot of times to remember to take it because they were very forgetful. Oh, okay. So, like, there's like this one scenario, like this one worst case scenario. If um, our girlfriends forget the pills, so mm. what can we do then? Um, you could ask them every day. Are you <laughs> taking your pill? Did you take it? Did you take it? <laughs> so what can you do if it actually like goes wrong? Um, it's good for her to have the right information that she does have 12 hours to remember to take it. So if she's late, she doesn't just miss it out altogether. She takes it when she remembers it. Um, and if it's more than 12 hours, then you need to use condoms for the next seven days. Okay, so is it more or less reliable than um, a condom? It's definitely more reliable than condoms. The pill is like about almost 100%, right? 99 yeah, point... Yeah, it's about 90%. 99%. I mean, you still have to take the condom, I guess, because it's like the only protection against viruses. When you're saying viruses, I think you mean sexually transmitted yeah, infections, right. because in fact, the pill does not protect against sexually transmitted infections. The best thing that we have to protect against sexually transmitted infections is condoms. Um, I have a friend and her doctor um, gave her the pill because she had really, really bad menstrual bleedings. Yeah. Is that, so that's also a method of... Yeah, I, I mean, know what. I'd say the pill's got lots of other uses, but all pills, all combined pills will reduce menstrual bleeding and pain. Um, and then there are other potential benefits to taking the pill. It can be used for things like premenstrual syndrome. It's good for acne. Yeah. And, and what just, sort of yeah. side effects can people expect when they go on the pill? Because you, you hear a lot of different ones. Mm, um, the benefit risk ratio for most women is favourable. Um, however, there are a number of well-recognised side effects and the majority of these are minor nuisance side effects which will tend to settle down in the first three months and these include things such as nausea, irregular bleeding, breast tenderness and headache. And are there any health risks uh, with the pill? Um, the combined oral contraceptive pill is associated with an increased risk of VTE, venous thromboembolism. However, that would be a rare event and the risk is lower than the risk associated with pregnancy. Anybody want some tea? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> Thank you. But your cup is full. I know. Somebody has to drink it. <laughs>